In this guide, you will know how to stake Doc using DocJS app. Let's start by creating the accounts. Go to the DocJS app, navigate to the Accounts tab and click on plus Add Account. Save the mnemonic seed in a safe place. The seed phrase stores the information necessary to restore the wallet, in case you forgot your password or lost access to the device on which the wallet is installed. Complete the name and password fields. You have to create two accounts, Stash and Controller. Stash accounts hold the tokens that are staked similar to a savings account. Its private key should be as secure as possible in a cold wallet. Controller account signal choices on behalf of the Stash account, like payout preferences and staking tokens to a validator. You should only hold a minimal amount of funds to pay transactions fees. To get your DOC account details for transferring tokens, click on the address in the field. Your token address will appear on the right side of the page. Staking DOC Tokens To start the staking process, go to the Network tab, Staking and choose Account Actions. Then click the Plus Nominator button. Set up your accounts and choose your payment destination, which should typically be the Stash account. The Stash account Increase Amount at Stake option enables you to simply accure the rewards into the amount you are staking and earn compound interest. Besides, it is possible to get the reward to another account from which you can manage your tokens. Enter the amount of tokens you intend to stake and click Next. Doc Network does not have a minimum staking threshold, but you should take into account the network's fee for delegation and similar transactions. Be mindful of the amount that must remain in an account for it to remain active, so it's recommended to keep at least two DOC on your account to be on the safe side. Click on Nominate on an account you have bonded and select a validator from the list. In this guide, we stake with Everstake for a reference. You are free to choose any validator. Everstake is a large, high-performance validator with experience in more than 45 POS blockchains. Our delegators can safely stake their crypto assets. We use only high-quality servers, thanks to which we manage to achieve almost 100% uptime. Our company constantly improves services and runs top-notch gear with the highly professional specialists on board. We regularly provide educational materials for users, assist them with all issues related to staking and our dedicated blockchain managers manage the operational flow in the most efficient way. Choose only reliable and trusted validators, like Everstake, a reliable staking provider trusted by the entire blockchain community. Now check the details of the transaction, and if everything is correct, click Bond and Nominate. Then you should authorize the transaction. Congratulations, you are now a nominator. You can manage your staking operations in the staking menu. Click Account Actions and then click the three dots on the Accounts field. There is an opportunity to perform the following operations. Bond more funds, unbond, change controller account, change reward destination, set nominees. If you have bonded your tokens, a period of 7 days needs to pass before you can unbond. Once your tokens are unbonded, you need to issue another transaction, namely Withdraw Unbonded, in order to be able to transfer your funds. Find more information on our website everstake.one doc or in the text guide. All links are in the description of this video. Subscribe to Everstake on social network to receive the latest news from the crypto world.